Learn English by listening to stories. A dilemma written by Silas Ver Mitchell. Simple English summary. The hero of our story is like Hamlet. To be or not to be. A dilemma. Before we start, please subscribe and encourage. Thank you. I was 37 when my uncle died. A week before he sent for me, that is, first time I saw him. My mother had told me before her death, I shouldn't expect anything from my uncle. He was an inventor, brilliant mechanical engineer, a rich man who made money by improving turbine wheels. He did not marry. He collected precious stones like pearls and rubies. He was really passionate about it. He kept adding to his collection of rich stones whenever he could. I was a clerk when I sat beside his bed. I didn't have any expectation from him. He said he was living a rich life with the help of the money he got from a fixed deposit. At the last moment, he feels he wants to be a good man at least for one family. He told me he had all his precious stones and he was going to give it to me and have that satisfaction before dying. I thanked him and he said in return, I have to pay for his funeral. I didn't want to do it, but somehow I agreed. My uncle wanted me to do one thing before opening the box which had precious stones, that is, to read the letter which lies on the top of the box. The next week he died. He was wonderfully buried. I opened his safe and found a heavy iron box. I read the letter which said the box had blue pearls and some rich stones, but he warned to be beware of the dynamite that is inside the box which might explode if you move it slightly or try to unlock it. I had spent all my savings on his funeral and I have become poorer than before. I was shocked reading this cruel letter. I carried the box somehow to my place. There must be a way to open. For a week I started thinking. I wanted to open it from a safe distance with the help of a wire. But then, if the box explodes, what will happen to the pearls? I kept the key on the watch guard. Suddenly I felt, what if someone steals and tries to open the box? I became nervous. I was afraid. What if some thief tries to break the box? I was terror struck in my mind. I was an afraid man. I couldn't do my work properly. My salary was reduced. My marriage was out of question. Professor Clinch understood my dilemma. He gave me strength by suggesting my uncle could have told a lie. I offered him the biggest ruby to open the box, but he refused. Even Dr. Scherf, my uncle's doctor, thought my uncle could be right. I too didn't want to be in the same room with the terrible box. The doctor warned me I was losing my mind. I did nothing but spend all my time in libraries reading about dynamite. The library officials found me a lunatic and they informed the police about me and now I was a suspect, a criminal character. I even kept the box under my pillow. I was thinking about the box all my time that it should not be shaken. The doctor again advised me to forget the box. I desperately read the letter again that contained all the details of the precious stones and I couldn't give up. But at the same time, it's going to send me to death. I was becoming mad. I was thinking to drop it from the top and unlock the box. But what if the dynamite blows? I was becoming mad. The priest too thought my uncle had made a joke, but he too wasn't willing to open the box. Two years passed. I was one of the richest men, but had money only to live. Susan had broke my engagement. I advertised in the Journal of Science and, my, and many sent me some absurd ideas. People started to know about me. I was asked to write my story. 
I had to escape reporters by changing my name and occupation. The government officials learnt about my inheritance from my uncle and came to collect the tax. I happily showed my uncle's letter. He told me that he would come later. Finally, I made a will, left the pearls and rubies to the society for the preservation of human vivai section. If you think this is a joke, just imagine an iron box has all the wealth, has dynamite, will explode if you unlock. What would any sane man do? What would he advise? Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, comment and press notification button. Thank you.